Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can drive MIDI notes using phases etc. So it's a little bit the starting of what is going to come next in the form of creating a sequencer inside Odulus. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm inside the standalone version of uh, Odulus, as you can see. And then what I have also is uh, an audio channel inside the AUM where I have pure piano and I have connected that pure piano to the AUM destination. The reason I've done that is because I prefer to actually create patches and using nodes inside the standalone version, I find that it is a little bit more stable and then I can copy and paste what I have created inside the Odlutz in as an AUV3, in this case inside the AUM. Okay, um, let's go here on the settings and ensure that the MIDI output device is set to AUM. Of course, you have other selections so that uh, when we route MIDI events out, they will go directly to AUM. So in order to do that, we go to the MIDI category and we drag and drop these node send. And this node has uh, uh, three inputs. The first one is note from 0 to 127. Then we have gate and then we have velocity again from 0 to um, 127. So first of all, we need to therefore establish what velocity we're going to have our nodes. In order to do that, we drag and drop an expression node and we connect it to the velocity and then we select the expression node, go to the inspector panel and we type something like, for example, 80. Okay. And that will be the velocity for all our nodes. Next, we need to establish a gate and then we need to use a uh, send multiple gates signal for every node that we want to send. And in this case, we're going to, pro to produce an ascending scale of nodes, just as an example. So in this case, we need to produce a pulse um, wave. And I have uh, showed you how to do that using a phaser in previous tutorials. So hopefully you can follow these now, uh, if not go back to previous tutorials. So we use uh, the phaser node like so. And let's start with a frequency of one hertz. So we select the expression node and we insert um, one hertz there. Okay. So every, so the phaser is going to zero to two times PI in one hertz, so one cycle per second. So we, what we want to do then is to uh, drag and drop another expression node. We select that, and in order to create uh, a pulse, we need to do X greater than PI. And um, if you don't remember again uh, what this means, go back to some of the previous tutorials. So we connect these two, and um, we connect it automatically to a gate. And you can see that it is moving. Um, you can see this signal going through directly to the gate. Now, if you want to see the values, go to meter and insert a value node here and uh, grab the output from the expression here, go to value. And you can see it goes from zero to one in a second. One, zero, one, zero. So, which is established by the frequency here from this expression node. Okay, next we need to send some nodes because we have a fixed velocity. And then we have gate uh, impulses, which are coming out from the expression node. Again, if you don't remember how this works, go back to the previous tutorial. You can also connect a waveform node directly to the expression here output. You can see the pulses coming out. Okay, so in order to create some nodes, we are going to create a, a counter using a phaser. And let's say that we go from notes, MIDI notes uh, number 40 to up 100. So how do we do that? Well, again, let's go to synth as a category. Let's drag and drop a phaser node. Now, we need to establish a frequency there. We drag an expression node and we connect it to the frequency. Now, what frequency are we going to give? Well, if we give one, it will go from zero to two PI in one second. So we don't want to do that, right? So we want, and we're going to produce notes from, let's say 40, MIDI note number 40 to 100, so 60. So what we want to do is divide one, divided by 60. So in that case, we'll have uh, effectively one 
note from 40 to 60. And I'll show you how to do that now. And every note will go through um, for a second in terms of gating, uh, um, in terms of changing the notes, uh, being synchronized with the gate. Hopefully that makes sense with the next um, expression node, which I'm going to drag and drop here. I'm going to select it and then go to the inspector. So what we want to do here is take the uh, input, which is coming from the phaser node, divide that by two times PI. And again, go back to previous tutorial. This will give you um, a value from zero to one. Okay. Then we're going to multiply that by 60. This will give me a value of uh, zero to 60. Okay. Then we are going to surround these by um, a function called, um, let's use seal like that. So that are going to going to round um, the numbers. So I don't have a decimal point. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add um, 40 as a starting value. So it will start from 14, then it will increment from zero to 60 plus 14 will go to 100. Hopefully that make uh, makes sense. So let's connect these two like so. And again, if you want to see how this works, just put a value uh, node there connected and you can see that it's going up every second, starting from 40 and it's going to go to 100. So let's connect these to the node input here of the node send uh, node and let's listen. <laughs> Let's disconnect that um, uh, note. And now what I'm going to show you is how to double the speed. So select that expression node over there. Let's say that we want that to go double the speed. So we increase the frequency there. Now what we need to do is in this expression node here, we need to double again the speed. So what we're going to do is to divide that by half of it. So instead of by 60, we're going to divide that by 30. Okay, now let's reconnect it and let's listen. Nice, isn't it? Now, of course, if you double the expression node here on the first phaser, which is the gating, what you and you don't change the um, note um, generation speed here, you will find that it will play the note, the same note twice. So let's listen. And so on and so forth and you can create very nice interesting effects using the note send node okay i hope you enjoyed see you next time bye